Hello everyone, it's Marissa Sweet and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do part two of my step-by-step -step acrylic landscape demo. And if you're just joining in and want to follow along, I invite you to watch part one. You can also download the uh, supply list from the description below. So in this video, we're going to add more color, which will make your painting pop. It's going to be a lot of fun, and so are you ready to get started? Let's do it! So let's add some color now. We have raw sienna, naples yellow hue, cadmium yellow medium hue, and cerulean blue. Then we'll add regular gel to double the volume. We'll mix well and we'll start painting. Now don't forget to clean your palette knife when you're mixing your paints, because then you'll get a mix like what I've done there. <laughs> um, luckily, I'm doing a landscape and I will need some greens, but always try to clean your palette knife. So here I am going to add yellows to the foliage in the background where I feel it needs to have that warm glow. I started with cadmium yellow and I'm going to just alternate between the other yellows that I have on my palette. This one is raw sienna. And then I could go back to cadmium yellow again, then go back to raw sienna, and just paint it randomly where you see it needs yellow. This is Naples yellow. It's a bright yellow, and it has titanium white in it, so it's a little bit more opaque. I like adding that here and there and then going back again into the yellows. The cerulean blue is a warm blue and I would recommend mixing this blue to some of the yellows you have on your palette to obtain different values and different mixes of greens. This is blue mixed in with Naples yellow and it gives you a nice bright blue without adding any white. So I really recommend um, getting professional line paints. I feel that they will give you good mixes because they have good pigment quantity. And my favorite brands are Golden, M. Graham, Tri Art and Liquitex. Here I am just going over the painting, not really concerned with any detail, so you can really have fun here. The 
there's a lot of back and forth between layering of colors. So don't be so attached with the color right away because it may not be there um, at the end of the day. So just enjoy adding color upon color. Acrylic dries fast, so by the time you come around to the area where you added color uh, initially, it should be dry. And then you can add another layer of color. The foliage in the background has so much um, uh, greenery and it has so much volume. So layering different colors, one on top of the other, will give you that feeling and it will give you that look. As you can see lots of layers here try not to load your brush too thickly don't put too much paint on your brush so this way you can control the amount of color that you're putting on your painting um, I try to load my brush very thinly and just glaze and just apply in a very thin application So I'm going to make some black here with a blend of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, one to one ratio. It's my favorite blue-black mix. And then Titan Buff is uh, right beside it. It's a very, very beautiful neutral color. And then adding regular gel to double the amount. So I'm going to start uh, painting the tree trunk again with the black. Just wanted to go over it again and then start painting some branches. I like uh, loading my brush with a little bit of retarder 
as I'm painting the branches because it allows me to load my brush very thinly but because of the retarder it doesn't dry out as I pull my line out so I just like how the retarder gives me that smooth application of paint so I just add a little retarder and a little paint and it goes a long way now if you're not comfortable in going in with paint first then I would recommend drawing the branches in with either chalk or pastel pencil The pastel pencil will give you a guide and so you can see the overall composition of your tree before you commit to putting your paint and it will just give you a nice outline to follow and make life easier. Don't want to stress you guys out. I want you to enjoy and that will just help give you an overall look of your painting. So at this point, I'm mixing Titan Buff with the black and just going over this maple tree, just giving it a little bit of texture. Um, yeah, uh, brush strokes could just be following the tree trunk, but uh, adding that horizontal line just gives it a little bit of a break and uh, it gives it a really nice look of bark. So let's bring in some of the reds here. We have a cool red, which is Quinacrino magenta. And we also have cadmium red medium, which is a warm red. So I like to use uh, two kinds of reds because combining a cool color and a warm color produces different values and it just produces really nice light and shadow.
I started off with Cornacinum magenta. It's a beautiful transparent color and glazing it on top of the blue here will give you beautiful violets already which is really a nice shade for shadow. I like to use the cool colors for shadow and then I will introduce the cadmium red on top of the magenta to give it that warm red glow and give you that beautiful beautiful orange glow where the sun hits all these beautiful maple leaves I mixed in some black with the quinacridone magenta and it just adds a really nice um, dark shadow on leaves that don't get much of the sunlight so it's nice to have a little bit of some shadow and darkness in the landscape.
So what I'm doing now is I have mixed cadmium yellow and cadmium red. The two of them make a beautiful orange and I just wanted to add this as highlights to the leaves. I'm using my 1 4th angled brush just to give a little bit of change in size and texture. And I'm going to leave you right here. So you can play catch up to me and we'll see you on part 3. This is coming very soon. I try to put out my video every weekend. And so if you have any questions at this point, feel free to write your comments and your questions below. And please share this to anyone you may think who might like to try this painting technique. Please share. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell to get notified. And again, thank you for tuning in. Keep safe. Stay at home for healthcare workers. Be healthy. Part 3 is coming soon. Stay tuned and sweet out.